The divide between Sunnis and Shia started 1400 years ago when the Islamic prophet Muhammad died and the two sides clashed over who should succeed him. Both groups agree that Allah is the one true God and Muhammad his messenger. They both follow the five pillars of Islam and read the Quran. But disagreement over how to interpret it has carved such a divide over time that many Sunnis don't even consider Shias to be proper Muslims. In Iraq, the violent battles between the two highlight both identity and politics. The majority of the world's Muslims are Sunni, but they're a minority of the population in Iraq. Sunnis still controlled politics there, often brutally, since the end of World War I. Then, in 2003, the United States invaded Iraq. Saddam Hussein was overthrown, and Shias took power and revenge. Nouri al-Maliki became prime minister in 2006, but instead of building bridges with the Sunnis, critics say he burned them, angering Sunnis inside government and cracking down on their protests outside of it. After U.S. troops withdrew from Iraq in 2011, extremist rebels from the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria staged an uprising, promoting violent extremism among Iraq's Sunnis. The young Iraqi army which is predominantly Shia and brutal in its own way, was unprepared. <laughs> 